coffee, the stars in my sky, and the pain in my neck. Stand the man Johnson. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going, eh? That's it? I don't know. <laughs> well, hi, and welcome to the show. Uh, I'm Stan. I'm going to introduce everybody quickly. Do you know Al? The station sent him to keep an eye on things and make sure everything goes well and make sure everything is done in good taste. And so far, it is. Al, take a seat. You don't, you, you don't run your own cheering section. Uh, Edward Thackeray III, my personal valet and announcer. And uh, this is our gorilla cam. He can go anywhere a normal human being cannot go. He can do it. On the show today, we're going to talk about vegetables. Does anybody here like vegetables? Oh, actually, they like... I, that's a surprise. Do you like vegetables? I love them. You love them? That's correct. See, they help you learn to talk good, don't they? Uh, they're yeah, working they on do. it. Also, we will meet Exercise King Richard Simmons. And how about the band? Uh, over there in the nice shorts, we have... Larry Walker on guitar. In the middle, we have former midget wrestler John Noseworthy. And on the other end, on the other guitar, we have Michael Dimitri. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. What shall I do with this? Right. Do, you have, do you have any idea what's going on here today? Well, it sort of looks like a flimsy. What's this? Stew. What's this? What, 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 what is this, this basket it's, here? So our guest today is, is Pete Luckett. He's Pete the Greengrocer. This is naked, and these naked are fruit. You can't have naked fruit on TV. It says right here in the book. What? Second paragraph, third sentence. Second indent says no what? naked fruit. This is all naked fruit. No, but I... I, I gotta... Just, no, 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 put that what? down. Don't let the camera you see that. You can't have naked fruit on TV? Can you have naked people? Well, no, but no, let's be serious. Fruit of, fruit of people. Okay, let's have, let's have our guest settle it. Would you please welcome from Pete's oh, no Boutique... I don't Pete, get the greengrocer, Luckett. Can't Pete Luckett. No, no, Pete Luckett. No <laughs> There's no question. We can't we have, have this. No we can't have this. Okay, Al. Al, you sit over there. You sit over there. Get out of here, camera. Get out of here. Now you. Pete? Stan? How's it going? No, not bad. Stan, good. Not a bad. No, no. I'm sorry. Look, I'll read it to you. Word for word. You. Mulberry. 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 Right there, the what do you think? <laughs> Could you explain to him that it, it's fruit and it's not anything wrong? You with got a degree in fruitology or something? Yeah. You ain't going to talk to nothing like that. Come on, Pete. I'm lost for words, Stan. What you're can lost I say? for words. Fruit with clothes? I, I yeah. have no idea what he's talking no, about, but he, not he, thinks, have full clothes. he thinks fruit should be clothed, and I think he's being a little bizarre. bizarre. Even though he's in charge of, of standards and making sure that we don't cross the lines of good taste, no. I think that... that Naked fruit is not crossing the, the lines of good taste. It is. It is. Look at no. that. He's okay. they're, they're blushing. They're blushing. Come here. Come here. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think it's kind of beautiful. Would you that? think it's beautiful naked? I think it's. Who thinks uh, it's beautiful naked? Okay. We have a show of hands. Here we go. We're, we're in. We've won. Oh, yeah, we've won here. Who doesn't think beautiful. it's beautiful? Who thinks fruit? We got the guy in the back there. He looks good enough to me. There. Okay. Show us. Show us what what what's in the. Al, come well, on, Al, come on, let's get the coconuts out. No, I gotta get some clothes. <laughs> oh, <to you. laughs> are we gonna open a coconut? How do you open a coconut? Let me turn the lights on. I'll please. show you how to open a coconut, Stan. How do you open a coconut? You crack it against your fat head is what you do because you're not allowed to have no no naked fruit, and I can guarantee. Oh, that, Al. Put it in there. You keep the fruit covered except the ones we're showing. And I'm gonna okay, put some clothes on. Where do coconuts grow? Coconuts grow. And why? Uh, they go in all tropical uh, places, Stan. They grow on these big trees. They're beautiful. I mean, when you're starving on that desert island, you shake the coconut tree, and bingo, down they come. Isn't, isn't that dangerous? Could be, Stan. Could be. If you, I guess you wear a helmet when you shake the tree, do you? Yeah, one of them expo helmets, yeah. Or you could get hurt. Al, look, I'm doing okay. my job. How do we open a coconut? Well, have you got any tools here, Stan, well, by any chance? Uh, How about a hammer and a screwdriver? No, I, oh, my God, this is oh, ridiculous. Come on, you Stan, can't you do that. Would a horn help? Not try it, Stan, try it. <laughs> <laughs> now we know that horns don't like coconut juice. You people are going to be in the Pontown Penitentiary before you know Well, a baseball bat works. There you go. Will no, that work? No, no good, Stan. Okay, how would yeah, you okay. at home open a coconut? On the top of the coconut, you've got them three little eyes right there. Can you mm -hmm. see that? Three little eyes. Yep. 
Okay. Doesn't what do you mean do? it's human? It's, it's got eyes. Human. Get, get yourself a screwdriver or oh, an no. ice pick, and you've got to use a bit of brute no. force. No. Poke the holes there no. until you've got the three little eyes open. No. Then you tip the coconut juice out. Okay, let it drain. No. Then you find the seam of the coconut. Where are you from, Take Pete? your hammer. I mean, where am I you from? You don't know what you're talking about, Pete. Yeah, of course I know what I'm talking about. The Queen's English. This degree. is, pal. This is the it. Queen's English. Al? Yeah. Who's Al? the Queen? Al, we have a guess. He's well, talking he's breaking about... every rule in the book right here, holding naked foot up trying to tell you don't worry about that here. Well, no, we'll worry about that after. We just want to get to the bottom no, of the coconut. You go ahead, Stan. Thanks, Stan. Do you want the bottom it, of the coconut or yeah. the top? It's your next, Stan. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, you find the seam, and then you just tap, tap, tap with the hammer all the way around. Gently. Gently, and it'll pop. Hey, just a minute. Like that, that all the way around. That would yeah. open the coconut. <laughs> now, this would be an exceptionally tough coconut to yeah. give that metallic sound, I would assume. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, then you get it open, and then you've got the white coconut meat on the inside of the, the brown woody shell. Mm -hmm. You pry it out with a knife, <laughs> and then you're, you're in business. Okay, There now, you go. You're ready to go. Who discovered that coconuts were good? Uh, Lord Coconut. Lord Coconut. Yeah, Lord Coconut himself. That well-known explorer, yeah. Lord <laughs> yeah, Coconut. that's right. Okay, he uh, discovered Hawaii too, didn't he? What? I suppose he discovered Hawaii too. Oh, I don't think he did. Yeah, he discovered he coconuts, so they, he would have been Lord Hawaii. It's oh, Lord I'm Coconut. I'm going to lose my okay. job over this. Uh, when we come back, are you going to stick around? If <laughs> things look like when they are dressed, and then if we let him get this out of his system, we can go on with the show. I thought it over, Peter. The three little things here, and... Anytime okay. you're ready, Stan. Yeah, I, I just got to do an introduction. Speaking of fruits and vegetables, we know they're good for <laughs> you, right? And uh, we have an interview with gonna dress the fruit. a person who's really into good health. His name is, is Richard Simmons, and he teaches exercise. He actually likes fat people because he likes them to help trim down and That's get healthy. That's just what I've always needed, isn't That's it? And uh, see the way I see it, we can if we dress the while fruit. While I try to open the enough, rest of the coconut, we get enough and clothes in the world we can ow! dress all the fruit, and then we. You you told me this wasn't dangerous. Then you wouldn't have to worry about it. See uh, here's our see? our interview yeah, with uh, Richard Simmons Beautiful. and an yeah, exercise class. Pepper, in, yeah, hot pepper. We'll be back I got a, I got a little leopard clothes. skin on a pear there. See that nice? I'll tell you right what now. And you doing? Yeah. I'm dressing the fruit up. Well, is that necessary? Well, I think it is because I don't think it should be naked on TV. That's my point. See, I get so it, if we I dress it up, it ain't naked. Back, come on, one, two, three, let's go! Come on, will you feel me? Yeah. Roll in, roll in, roll in. <laughs> to health and to happiness. Happiness, health and happiness. <laughs> to to Canada what? Canada and America. Canada and America. To, to the killing of fat cells. Okay. Mm. Are we finished? Yes. Okay. Richard? <laughs> <laughs> I'll prove. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, like, you used to be a fat kid, right? I was an obese kid, and there's a difference. Okay. What's the difference between fat and obese? The difference is the fattest kid in the class is usually obese. About 40% more than your body weight should be. But when I was 15 years old, I saw the doctor write the word obese. When I was 15, I saw the doctor write the word obese on my, on my chart, and I had no idea what the word meant, and I looked it up. And it said, like in elephant, right there in the dictionary. It didn't say that. That's you what it that. says. Oh, you mean in the dictionary? That's what it, it said, said in the dictionary okay. when I looked it up. So then what happened? That upset you or what? I think that being a fat kid is very upsetting. Feel this. Feel right here? Yeah. yeah. There's a bump right here. Is that, yeah? Okay, how did that happen? Every day, a guy used to walk up and say, you fat pig, and take a baseball bat and hit me on the head. And he did it for six months, and I believed him, until one day, 
I said to myself, I may be overweight, I may be obese, but I have some very good qualities about me and I'm gonna stand up for those qualities. And I did. And I stood up there right when he was gonna hit me and I grabbed that bat and said, don't ever do that again. to your house mm -hmm. and I sat on your couch the sing springs broken but and I could do that and I found a little M&M in your couch with a little lint on it yeah I would eat it you would yes no, not now you would not yes most exactly. probably if I was alone <laughs> <laughs> how much how many thousands of dollars do we eat oh yeah I'll have a hamburger oh yeah fry do you have onion rings you have french fried onion rings you have, you have those onion rings that are like real thick, those thick onion rings? We're always going to be tempted with that. Always. We'll not really eat the way some of you eat, if you really love yourself. What about kids now? Do kids generally just get enough exercise and they don't need to worry? Daddy works. Mommy used to stay home. Mommy doesn't stay home anymore. Mommy works. Child, microwave, fast food, weight problem. Big weight problem. We have more overweight teenagers and overweight children in America now than we had 10 years ago. We are eating more plastic, more synthetic, more greasy, buttery, oily food. I can assure you that in most t-shirts in America, there are just big grease stains because that's what people are eating. People love fried food. When's the last time you and your family went out and said, let's exercise for an hour. We go, let's eat for an hour. Let's go shopping. Let's go to church. But when's the last time you and your three children said, let's go in the room. Let, look at me. Let's roll up the carpet. Look at me. Let's roll up the carpet. Let's put some music on and let's exercise. See, we don't do that. No, we don't. We don't teach. We don't teach people how to eat in school. We don't teach people how to exercise in school. We let them go free. <gasps> you got a C in Spanish? What did the kid get in nutrition? What did he get about caring about his body? Zero. Right. What would this be used for? Timmy? Okay, so it would contain a food, like this one. And uh, what would this one be for? Milk. George? Milk. Milk, okay. Let's see if I can fool you. What about this one? <coughs> yes. Tennis ball. Well, that's a good <laughs> thing. They would fit in there, probably, but there's another thing. Veronica? Tomatoes, good for you. When you finish the part you do today, you can take it up and you can give it a shake. And that's what I call shakeability. I want you to be able to have it stand or kneel or lie down, but it can't fall apart when we hold it. It's an abstract flying mosquito with antennae and tail. Oh, I think he looks wonderful. Thank you. Give it, give it a taste, Daniel. You'll like it. Is it going to taste like coconut? Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Should should it, like shouldn't it be white? white? Oh, no. no, that's, a, that's a coconut it. juice, Dan. I mean, you mix it into a fruit salad. If you're making a fruit salad there, you'll really? love it. Give it a taste. Taste then. it? What do you think? It's good. Let me see what you think. This is a salad that Thackeray made. It looks pretty We're good. Put Got the red cabbage Richard in there Simmons for a little gave bit of this low there. calorie salary salad spray. Oh, I gotta learn to talk. Yeah. I gotta learn to squirt. Try and get too. it on the salad okay, stand next time. Okay, on the salad. Okay. It's nice beyond the ears. Do you like it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, taste it, and I want the mushroom. Just a minute. Okay, sir. you go first. Uh, uh, spray on salad spray. Are raw one. vegetables better for you than cooked vegetables? Absolutely. Very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice indeed. 
That was a good mushroom. Well, you want to try this other kind? Try what that. flavor is this, then? This is um, oriental. Okay. Try it and see if you like it. I'm going to get that bit of tomato right there. Is it true what Richard said, that people make a salad and then they put all this stuff on it and add calories? Boy, they swamp it. Some people swamp it in them thick, creamy dressings. I mean, you've got to go easy. If you're trying to lose a bit of weight, you've got to go easy on them dressings there, Stan. Now, do you nibble at work all day? Because you, you work in the fruit and vegetable market. Do you nibble away? Yeah. No, I'm at it all day long. Little bunch of grapes. I'm picking at them all day long. Bananas. I always have a banana in the morning, one that's spotty for a bit of energy. Why would you want a spotted banana? Well, they're sweeter when they get them little sugar spots. On. A lot of people think a banana's getting overripe, but to me, that's when a banana's perfect. That's what I thought. Uh, I thought, yeah. it, you mean, there's a little black spots? Yeah, a little yellow skin with a little spots on. I thought that meant they were going bad. Prime, and it's prime stem. It doesn't mean they're yeah. going bad. It means they're good. What is this, a pear that didn't make it, or what? That's a beautiful fruit stand, and I predict that as being a fruit of the future. It's a... Um, Family, it's hey, Petey. A, what, what now? You'll still go on no, about can we, fruits. We're no. discussing the fruit of the future. I'm talking about the fruits that I dressed up. Come here, Gorilla Cam. Okay. We're going to talk about the fruits. Come here. Well, come up on the step. Don't just step on the black though. Whatever you do. The fruit of the future. All right. Now, look. Oh. I want to show you, Stu. I want to show the people at home that we're at the station yes. here. We are being respectable people and dressing our fruit up in our clothing. So they're not naked. we got a hat on this here, honey do. And uh, honey we do? got honey do. That's honey correct. Do. Don't make fun of me, What Stan. is this? I'm not making fun. What is this? <laughs> this is uh, some sort of a pepper that tastes really hot, but we got a little dress on it there to make it look, you know, cool Pete, it down. Pete knows what that what is. What is if that, you Pete? Want to ask him. That's a so Hungarian hot pepper. Well, whatever, yeah. Hungarian, whatever. It's got a clothes on it now. And the uh, coconut's cute, first, really. so we don't need it already. You, you don't have dressed. to worry about no. coconuts because they're no, furry. It's already furry. Can we go back and discuss the fruit of the future? You know, I just want to make sure that everyone makes sure that we... Okay, well, okay, I think that we... Thank you, Pete, for being so smart, you know. Okay. Thank you. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more with Pete Lockett. Test this thing. Okay. Thanks, guys. We're back with Pete, our green grocer, and we're going to cut up. Is it, this is the fruit of the future. And what is it? It's a mango stand. A mango. A mango. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut a mango. Is that a fruit or a it's a fruit? That's a luscious tropical fruit. Okay. Now, Pete yeah. has a knife, which you are going to use because I don't trust myself. Do not attempt this at home. This is being done by a trained professional, right? Yeah, that's right, Stan. What you got to remember about mangoes as well, they come in many different shapes and sizes. Not all mangoes look like this. You can get kidney-shaped ones, you can get yellow ones, deep red ones, ones that are all green, come in many shapes and they come well, from... How do you know they're mangoes if they all look different? Well, you got to look for the sign that says these are mango, mangoes, Stan. Yeah, mango. you the guy at the grocery store and you, you he say, tells you they're mangoes. You say, can I tango with your mango? And, um, Poetry. <laughs> do you like that one? I love it. Anyway, when you cut them, you've got to make sure they're ripe, and that's when they yield to, to gentle pressure. Take the knife, and the thing about it is a big stone in the middle of there, and you've got to take a sharp knife and hug that stone as close as possible. Right there, there's a, there's stone, a stone in the stone middle of there. there. And you take the slice off the other side. And this should only be done by an adult or and a trained a stone professional, right, there. right? Correct. Now, is this edible? Let me no, Stan. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I wait. don't eat it yet. No, not yet, not yet. There's, a, there's an art. There's, a, what, there's an art to eating a mango. Uh, now, then you take your knife and you do little cross pieces that way. Then you turn it around and you go that way like that, not cutting through to the skin on the underside. Is the you see, skin like edible? That. No, you can, but it's a little bit chewy. So and now then I you invert it. it, and then you get all them little cubes standing up like that. Uh -huh. Then you can go into it, Stan. Now get your teeth it's, it's around. It's okay that. to do it now. Go do, for I, it. do I remove it with my fingers? No, you like just, the uh, monkey would. Or no, just... no, get no, get right into it. Place it on your lips. Like, like this? Yeah, you've got it. What do you think, Stan? What does it bring to mind? Bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Now we always eat mangoes when we bowl. Tastes a bit like a bowling ball. Um, Stan, with come a on, touch look. of sugar. No, it's it's uh, uh, peachy. Peachy, Peachy um, pineapple. I'll go with that. Bananery, pineapple, bananery. That's the way I describe a mango. Yeah. Peachy, pineapple, yeah. bananery. 
Um, I have to ask you a question, because you're from England, right? Correct, Stan, yeah. From... Are fruits and vegetables different in England than they are in North America? Perhaps they were a few years ago, but now, you know, with this modern-day technology, transportation, refrig refrigeration, fruit from all around the world finishes up everywhere now. So I'd say we get very similar fruits and vegetables in England as in North America. Mm -hmm. I don't like the mango very much. Can I have an one? But well, that was good. Yeah. I've never actually had. Um, That's right. There's now, a stone in the middle. Uh, well, you, what you've got to remember. People think of, of, of fruits and they say apples, oranges, pears, maybe plums. Correct, Stan. You don't, I mean, how many people would take a mango to school in their lunch? Not many, Stan, not many. So this may be a chance for the mothers of but, North America to say, hey, I'm going to put a mango in but Johnny's you know, lunch like tomorrow. Years ago, like kiwi fruit, they were considered an exotic fruit. Nowadays, they're an everyday item. I think Excuse mangoes are going to go the same way. Oh, Thank you, Paul and Stan. Oh. It's oh. Excuse me, Peter. I, th I thought you might be a bit hungry, so I brought you some fruit. Oh, thank you very much, Zach. Thackeray. Thackeray, is it? No, Thackeray. Yeah, have, have a nice tomato, perhaps. Yeah. You don't serve tomato. plastic fruit. It's tomato, he says. Yeah, yeah. tomato. You don't serve plastic fruit to a fruit and vegetable expert. Um, Wait a minute. We're out of time. This is enough for this fruit here. stuff. I'm taking out here. now. I'm what? getting out of here with this. What? You're have not a eating mango. No, have it's all going home. It's all going with me. Give me the mango. Give me that. Uh, it's well, all Pete, getting out thanks here. a lot for coming in. Have this fun. Well, and don't forget, don't, don't cut up your own fruit. Have someone help you at home. And have a nice day. And, uh, Al, what are you doing now? We'll be back next time. And we'll see you on something else. Now that we have our bodies in shape, how are your fingers? Join Greg Irwin tomorrow on something else when he'll have your pinkies doing push-ups. And we'll meet the voice of Dennis the Menace, Brennan Thick, and his dad, Alan. That's all tomorrow at 9.30 on something else.